Welcome back to Minecraft with Niceberg. I am Niceberg, and it is good to be back. Uh, so we moved, and I uh, didn't have internet for a couple of weeks, and I didn't get a video done before we moved, and then the school year started, and uh, it's taken me a while to to get back to recording, but hopefully uh, I can do something a little bit more consistently. Um, a lot has happened. I've been in the world playing around. In fact, you've caught me here after I've died, and uh, we'll talk about what happened there in just a moment, uh, but let's get you caught up on what's going on. You can see up there that I did finally finish. I did actually finish a sugarcane farm on that second level, uh, like we had talked about, so we'll go ahead and take up, go up there and take a look, um, but it looks like it's getting to be nighttime here pretty soon. And actually, our bed is on the second floor, so let's head up into the uh, base here and sleep, and then I'll show you what we got done. As I said, I've been busy, and here is the sugarcane farm that I built into the second level here. And we left two uh, sides open, and we left this one here, or we, we filled these two here with sugarcane. So uh, we can take a look at these in just a second here. Uh, before I do, let's address all the noise um so i did not successfully protect our um villagers at all and so um they are all zombified we've lost a couple and i've protected what i've got here but uh we're gonna have to take care of this and i'm gonna address this in a minute uh, what the plan is here with these guys it has changed my thoughts on what my next projects would be and uh and that sort of thing but uh, we'll chat about this in just a second i just didn't want to ignore the uh zombies in the room <clears throat> so anyway uh we got an automatic unloader system here we've got 10 10 double chests worth of sugar cane that we can we can pick up we got one mine cart that runs under this side and one mine cart that runs under the other side uh used these cool mangrove uh, trap doors as sort of a, a wall feature here which I really like and then uh, every other block basically has an observer so when it grows up it pops the nearest what 15 or so uh, so you don't necessarily get a whole row at a time and that, that's fine I don't I don't really care too much um, and it goes on both sides so you can see it from the outside you can see it from the inside and there are just a couple plants on each end and then they get shot into the water stream boom and then across the hoppers there and they'll drop into the chest here and eventually move down the uh, the way there. So yeah, that is our sugarcane farm. And it's working pretty well. Um, I think it's going to, you know, its rates aren't going to be great. It's not huge, uh, but it's better than, than what we had before because we weren't harvesting it on a regular basis. So at least we'll have some sugarcane, hopefully, whenever we need it. Um, I, I don't think the chests up there in the storage area were there the last time that we were on. Uh, so those are new as well. I was planning on going with our storage unit next and getting all of our storage taken care of because I'm a little tired of the chest monsters. And it would just give us an opportunity to flush out even one more part of the base here that we can that we can finish up. But I, I've I've died, right? I've got no gear, um, and now I also have no way of getting my gear back quickly or efficiently because I've got no villagers that I can buy books from. So I am, oh, you can also see my temporary uh, fix for not being able to get between floors. Any whoozle. So I was planning on doing the storage unit. It's like, this is great. We'll redstone that sucker up and be ready to go. And as I was building the sugarcane farms, I then accidentally got all of my villagers zombified. Again, losing a couple along the way. So I went, well, now I need to go ahead and get all of my zombie or all my villagers back and go ahead and cure them. Oh my goodness, I need gold and I need apples and I need potions and I didn't have any of that. So then I decided, oh, you know what? Instead of going with the storage unit first, let's go ahead and build a gold farm. So I was in the nether collecting goodies for my gold farm, looking for magma blocks, going crazy, had about two and a half shulkers full of magma blocks, and then fell in lava. <sighs> so I no longer have an elytra. Uh, I, just, I don't think I have another elytra anyway. I lost four or five shulker boxes 
Fortunately, most of them were empty except for magma blocks. Uh, I have no diamond picks. I have no diamond tools. <gasps> Ooh, apparently I've got a set of diamond armor. Curse of vanishing on those pants, but that's okay. We got some deep slate ore. I'm pretty sure I've got a few more diamonds somewhere. So, uh, oh, there we go. Hello. <laughs> oh. Um, and some more emeralds. So anyway, I'm gonna spend a few minutes trying to get geared back up and then it's gonna take me a little while, but I, I'd really like to get the gold farm next so that we can go ahead and cure the villagers that we've got up there as well as get ourselves prepared to uh, cure a few more and make life just a little bit easier for us. So I'm gonna get geared up and then I will catch you probably somewhere in the nether. No way, you guys are not gonna believe this. So I'm in the nether, running around, getting ready to grab stuff, and I have come across at least most, some, certainly not all of my stuff. I did, I had no idea I was this close to home. Uh, so what had happened was in my pursuit of magma blocks, I had gotten kind of lost, and I was trying to find my way back. We know that the portal here in the nether is at zero, zero. And so I was kind of trying to find my way back, and I, I couldn't find... Oh, I've got two of the shulkers of magma blocks, even. Amazing. See, I think I lost a shulker, though. Pretty sure it fell in the, fell in the lava. That's okay. That's so great. Oh, my goodness. You know, after, like, weeks of not being able to get on uh, and not being able to record and things like that, uh, to, to come back to my first session and lose all my stuff was kind of a bit of a bummer. So this is exciting. You can see I got a wither skeleton skull. I'd, I'd found a, another, I don't think it was the same fortress that we have that's kind of back over there. Um, so I must have like flown in from down here and like just smashed into this wall right here. Uh, that is a pretty groovy. So maybe it is the same fortress. Um, what I do know is that there is a, uh, a very nice double blaze spawner in the fortress that I found. So we are definitely going to have to go back and look for it. I think I screenshotted coordinates uh, while I was there. So so that's good. Uh, okay. So now uh, I need to kind of resort my inventory here. We're going to go drop some things off. And... Um, Ooh, lost my elytra still too. Just looking around over here, making sure it, it does look like I've lost my elytra. So, uh, still a little bit more gearing up to do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to the end, see if I can get myself another elytra, a few more shulkers, and then we'll be back to the nether to finish uh, collecting resources for a beautiful little gold farm. And, and again, hopefully that is kind of my goal with this episode, is to be able to get the gold farm done so that we can cure all of our villagers and uh, and make life a little bit easier for us. So, all right, I'll catch you. I'll catch you in the end. Well, there's good news here in the end. Um, I am finding several cities. This is actually my second city that I'm uh, attacking here, and uh, so that's great. And there's another small one over there. And uh, there's actually one right around the corner here, and both of these have ships. Now, my main concern is that I've already been to these, and I, I have no idea if I have, but I'm not seeing any evidence. Like, if I have been to them, then I must have just run around or flown into the ship real quickly and grabbed, you know, the elytra. And I, I, don't, I don't remember having done that. Doesn't mean I didn't, but... Um, you know, we'll we'll see what happens when we when we get to the ship. But uh, really good luck so far uh, in finding cities, and not a ton of loot. But I'm up to 36 shulker shells, so that's a that's a good haul. I'm fairly certain I have over a stack of shulker shells now, uh, but you can see that I'm about to get just blasted by all these shulker bullets, and I have not been able to clean out this particular. Uh, city because I, I lost my bow. I didn't think about that before I came to the end, but I lost my bow when I died. Um, and I'm, th these things are just ravaging me. And so I think I'm going to move on to the other one. I'm going to run over there and yep. See, told you there they go. Here we go. 
Oh, and there's another one there. So I, I'm going to need to get a bow before I can come back and really take care of that city. But I'm going to run over here to this one and uh, see if I haven't raided this yet. And hopefully I haven't. Hopefully I've still got a... Yeah, the shulkers are still on this ship. So it means I ought to be able to get down in here and find myself yet another elytra. I'm not sure what I did with my sword either. There we go. So we've got one more elytra and a little bit more loot here. Nothing super great. Doesn't look like. Nice, uh, nice shovel. Some okay iron armor. All right, do I have room for that? Yes, I do. There we go. All right, we're going to head back to the overworld and do a little bit of collecting for uh, some magma blocks and things and try and finalize our materials list for the gold farm that we're going to build here. Um, there's another city I thought I saw. I have my render distance way up just if you're wondering look at all those bullets still following me it's crazy um so i'm going to go ahead and uh screenshot where we are and i thought there was a pretty local i thought there was also a pretty local um end gateway maybe over here somewhere to get us back quickly now, whatever. I'll find my way back and uh, we'll head to the nether. I think I've got all the resources we need, so let's head up here. Uh, hello, wandering trader. What are you doing here in the nether? Uh -huh. yeah, interesting. Uh, let's head up here where I know we're near the roof of the nether, and we are going to go ahead and pop over the roof of the nether here. And so I'm going to come off uh, the side here just a little bit. I, I'm intending to put in an ice pathway here. This takes us out to the desert uh, where I've been doing my sand mining. And so let's go ahead and find. This may be what we're looking for. Uh, we are looking at Y126. So no, I think we're looking for Y127. Let's see if there's another space anywhere close by. And uh, in a, there's a looking at Y127. So that's what we need right there. Let's go ahead and put a couple ladders then here. And uh, I have never done this before. So this will be a first timer for me here. Get into the roof of the nether uh, like this. So we'll grab our ender pearls. We'll hop onto the ladder. Uh, apparently not going to be able to hop onto the ladder. So, hey, excuse me, move. Hey, this is actually pretty perfect in terms of location. Uh, there we go. And we'll pop up here, grab our ender pearls. We're going to aim kind of at the corner of the ladder and the nether and throw and jump. Oh, I thought we were there. And throw and jump. Didn't make it again. Let's try one more time. Aiming between the ladder and the nether. Throw and jump. Oh, I thought we were there. Again, throw and jump. Oh, we got there. Oh, you guys. I didn't bring anything to make a portal with. Which means there's only one way out of here for us. And that's death. Oh, man. I'm going to go ahead and um, get myself back to the overworld uh, through whatever means necessary. Ugh, darn it. I can't believe I did this. This is ridiculous, y'all.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This lovely and beautiful Gold Farm is hard at work. You can see I've already run it for a while here, up to 115 levels now. And you can see all the gold swords down there. So uh, we certainly have a little bit of work to do in terms of our sorting system down here. Uh, let's grab all this XP. Uh, we certainly have some work to do in terms of our sorting system. We just got, a, well, it's not a sorting system, right? We've just got four different sets of chests here that are are sucking in product, which is absolutely fine. Uh, but we're going to work on that some other time. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is one other thing. So this is the first gold farm I've ever built in Minecraft. I've never built a gold farm before, so uh, there's a... A first here in this uh, video is is the gold farm and uh, we're gonna do another first here in just a moment and that is to uh, bust a hole in the nether now I don't remember where I have to go I think I need to go back this way yes so I've marked where the hole needs to be at and that's this little piece of nether rack right here. So uh, this is the first time I've ever tried this. I've ever done this. We sneak over here. We flip that lever. We come here and we click like crazy. And we hope. And it didn't work. So we go again. There's my lever. So let's put it back on. Uh, we will continue giving this a try until it works. And... Um, I do not have an auto clicker, so uh, I'm not planning on using one anyway. Maybe I will have to. I may have to. I may just have to get over it and say, Hey, auto clicker, come here. Let's use you. Uh, but I really don't want to. I'd rather get this done without the auto clicker. So here we go. Try number three. Attempt number three here. <gasps> Attempt number three may have done it. Yes, it did. And there's our wandering trader who's been stuck in the nether for a while. All right. We have... Uh, a hole in the nether roof. We've broken bedrock. I've never done this before either. So this is exciting. All right. Awesome. Well, I think this is where we are going to end this episode. Uh, I need to do a little bit of time at the gold farm here so we can get all the golden apples that we need for all of the villager curing that we now need to do. Um, I have spent some time making some, uh, golden, or some, I have spent some time making some splash potions of weakness, but, uh, I've been waiting on the golden apples. So, uh, this is such a cool farm. I think it looks great. I chose the red glass and the yellow glass, and it's actually funny. So the entire bottom was supposed to be red glass. Um, but then I continually had gas shooting at me. And so the yellow splotches now are just like cute little reminders of the uh, time that we had with the gas while we built the farm. So I think that is pretty, pretty neat. Alrighty. Uh, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, enjoyed the build here of gold farm. I know I had a blast building it. It was kind of frustrating at times uh, between the gas and everything, but I had a, I had a blast uh, building this farm, and I hope you enjoyed uh, watching, watching me build it and uh, finding out a little bit about where we're at right now in the world. I am so happy to be back and recording and uh, getting some things going again. Uh, I don't know what my schedule is going to be like moving forward, uh, but I'm going to try and pretty regularly post. I don't know if I can do every week, but maybe every couple of weeks, uh, I think is what we were doing last school year, is trying to go every two weeks. So I think I can hold myself to that schedule uh, pretty well. And so that's what I'm going to try and do is, is every two weeks now. Um, that should give me enough time to be able to spend uh, a little bit of time each night and every week uh, getting resources, doing some building, 
and making some progress here that is worthwhile and worth videoing and then also uh, getting the time to edit it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to shoot for every two weeks. Uh, thanks for thanks for being patient. Uh, again, I knew that this move was going to be uh, kind of a, a big disruption to a great like a great uh, string that I feel like I had of uh, posting and things like that. So um, I really appreciate you guys being patient with me as uh, as we get things figured out in our new home and a new city and a new job. Um, I think this is a great project to come back for, come back with. And between episodes, I'm going to be spending some time here and be spending some time... Uh, curing some zombies that we need to take care of as well so um, until next time i hope you uh have a great couple of weeks and uh, like i said thanks for hanging around if you enjoyed the episode hit that like button subscribe for more content because again i will be back in just a couple of weeks and uh, i hope to see you here until then i'll see you